Hello, welcome. Today we are going to be looking at Daniel's cell. Yesterday we started our classes on electric cell. Electric what? Cell. We say that electric cell is similar to our battery. It's similar to our what? Battery. The battery that you use in your phones, in the car, the battery that you use in your touch light. You understand? They are made up of electric cells. They are made up of what? Electric cells. And we say that we have two classes of cells. We have the primary cells, the ones that run out very easily. And the secondary cells, the ones that stay very long, the ones that you can recharge. Like the one you use in your car, in your phones, you can recharge them. They are known as what? Secondary cells. But the ones that you cannot recharge, call them what? Primary cells. I would say that examples of primary cells are simple voltaic cell, which we treated yesterday. Today we are going to look at another primary cell known as Daniel cell, after which we look at Leclerc cell. All these are, are what primary cells. They cannot be recharged. You understand? Once they are exhausted, they are gone. So example of primary cells are what? Simple voltaic cell, Daniel cell and Leclerc cell. So we are moving small to small. We've already done simple voltaic cell. Today, what is what is Daniel cell consist of? Daniel cell is consisting of a negative word electrode, zinc electrode. Can you see it? This is the negative zinc electrode. In a porous pot, this is a porous pot. This is a what? Porous pot means that something can enter from outside. Is that clear? In a porous pot containing dilute H2SO4. What is this? Dilute what? H2O sulfur. Dilute sulfuric acid. Dilute tetra sulfate 6 acid. Is that clear? This combination now acts in a strong solution of what? Copper 2 sulfate solution. This is a strong solution of what? Copper 2 sulfate solution. Strong solution of what? Copper 2 sulfate solution. And I told us when treating simple cell, that copper 2 sulfate acts like a what? A polarizer. It prevents polarization. So what could be the advantage of this Daniel cell over normal simple cell? It simply means that automatically that the problem of the defect of polarization is already solved. You understand? Because you have one of the components as what? A depolarizer copper 2 sulfate which is contained in a copper vessel. Contained in a what? Copper vessel. This is a what? Copper vessel. And this copper vessel is acting as the what? Positive electrode. Can you see that? So, you know that on the copper electrode that is positive, there is always polarization happening, which is one of the defects of simple cell. But because of the fact that we are using a copper sulfate, which is a depolarizer, then there will be no depolar uh, polarization effect on Daniel cell. And that's why we have that. Advantages of Daniel cell. Number one is that polarization does not occur. Polarization does not do what occur in Daniel cell. Why? Polarization does not occur at the copper electrode because of the presence of the what? The polarizer. Because of the presence of the what? The polarizer known as what? Copper 2 sulfate solution. Number two, it gives a small current for much longer time than the simple cell. It gives small current for much what? Longer time. Because if there is polarization, small time, the battery will stop working, is it not? But here, there is a depolarizer, so there is no polarization. So what happens? The battery lasts for a longer time, is that clear? So if you compare this to the simple cell that we did yesterday, you see that this one has advantage, simply because of the what? Compared to sulfate depolarizer that prevents polarization. And I told us that there are two defects of a simple cell. Number one is polarization, and number two is what? Local action. Number two is what? Take it in your notes. You understand? But here we are not having the issue. We are not having the issue of polarization because automatically, as one of the components of a Daniel cell, you have a depolarizer known as what? Copper 2 sulfate. Is that clear? So in the next class, we are going to look at the cleanse cell.